A school bus driver busted for child pornography faced a judge today. Well, that man was driving a bus with Bristol Elementary and pre-K kids on it. He has been suspended, but parents with little kids on that bus are furious. News 8's Bob Wilson is live in Hartford tonight with more. Bob? You know, you get up, you get your kids breakfast, you get them off and you put them on the bus and you think they're safe. But you know what? Tonight, uh, a man went before court, a bus driver. He went into court and we learned the details of the child pornography he admitted to. 29-year-old Michael O'Brien appeared in Superior Court today to face child pornography charges. Police say O'Brien confessed to downloading naked pictures of young girls in various sexual acts. O'Brien drove a school bus for first student in the Bristol School District. That's unbelievable. It's very scary. You really have to look and, and see what's going on in your own town. Police say they were monitoring an internet file sharing site called Peer to Peer when O'Brien's IP address popped up. They got a search warrant for his house in Wolcott. Police say O'Brien had downloaded more than 150 videos to his computer. The girls ranged in ages from 8 to 14 years old. 150 videos. Unbelievable. You just never know who your kids are with. You know, bus drivers or, you know, counselors, anything. Now, the court documents weren't specific as to which students the bus driver drove, as well as which schools he drove for. However, parents say the bottom line is you just have to make sure to talk to your kids about it. The best way to protect them is to educate them. I think sitting down and just being honest within their level. My kids are 8 and 10, so just keeping it sort of general, but what to look out for. Yeah, I think I'm very, very surprised for Bristol. In a statement to police, O'Brien said he was looking into going to a therapist and told an investigator, quote, I do drive an elementary and middle and high school and pre-K school bus, but I've never hurt, touched any of those kids, and I'm willing to take a polygraph to swear to that. Just got to keep a good, have your kids be free to talk with you, not afraid. Come to an adult, come to somebody, no matter who it is, talk with somebody, let somebody know something's going on. Now, we did put in a call to First Student, the bus company, and they did not return our phone call. I'm Bob Wilson, reporting live in Hartford, News 8.